Hi guys and welcome back to my channel in this update for Beauty Balance. Now I haven't updated you guys on this for two months maybe, maybe even three. It might have been three months actually, but I think it's been two. <laughs> I have finished some things, but it's it's looking more like a one month use up than two, if you know what I mean. So I, I haven't too too many empties. Um, I have purchased a few things uh, before I got married and I have received some things for free. And when I say I, I got some things for free, it's not PR or even from friends. It's actually because I'm like a loyal customer at a store. <laughs> so I get things sometimes. So let's start this video by saying that I ended last month with seven points, which means I could bring in seven new things and still be okay you know and by seven things i mean seven products it can be within within items so if i have a blush palette with eight shades in it that counts as eight points so let's start with the things i bought or brought into my collection i should say first off i bought a little bit of a declutter pile from someone with a few items in it so i bought this monu skin illuminating primer with spf 15. The SPF 15 is probably not active anymore because I remember when we got this in a glossy box and um, I loved it. It's a thick primer and it feels good and it stays on well. I, I really liked it. So I bought it for like $2 or something. I don't know. <laughs> All of these things were very very cheap. So I bought that primer and I bought two body scrubs. The one from Rituals is called the Pearlescent Body Scrub Bamboo and Cherry Blossom and it's in the collection The Ritual of Sakura while this is the Almond Milk and Honey Body Scrub from the Body Shop. This is a big one. Uh, I think I like this one so I was like okay let's buy it because I'm getting very low on body scrubs and I would like to have one or two in my collection at all times and I know that this is a good one it contains a lot of scrub bits in it I think I remember liking this too so I just wanted to buy them while I could because I'm there's no way I'm paying full price for things like that because I don't need them I don't find them too interesting you know this one I would look for but I think it was a little bit expensive for me as well so I'm very very happy that I, I found it on sale let's say so I talked about this last time I bought a few things from I do minerals and I said that I was waiting on the foundation or I was waiting to buy the foundation because they didn't have it in my color so I bought it now and this is in the shade saga 033 and I'm sorry to say but I I haven't liked it the few times I have used it. And I'm not going to say I'm a little bit disappointed. I'm a lot disappointed um, because I've heard so many great things about I Do Minerals and some things are great and some things are just not and they're not cheap. Like even, even drugstore brands nowadays, they aren't cheap and I bought them full price. Maybe I got like a 10% off or something, but that's Mm, whatever it's still it's still expensive so yeah I'm a little bit disappointed with this one I really hope it will work maybe in another season maybe it wasn't quite the right shade or I don't know let's try it out some more and hope it works better later then for my wedding I bought a few things from Lush I bought this body butter I love the scent of this one it's the uh, it's the lime bounty scent it's green <laughs> Mm, it smells so good. I'm really into lime at the moment, or I have been for a while, <laughs> but I haven't really thought about it until now because I've smelled lime a lot during the last month, you know, in drinks, what I'm eating, what I'm putting on my body. <laughs> Suddenly, I realized that I really like lime. So there you go. I also bought a face mask. This is the Catastrophe Cosmetic Fresh Face Mask from Lush and uh, it has blueberries in it and some other things and this is just a phenomenal mask. If you are struggling with the redness in your face, maybe you have rosacea or something, this really calms the red down a lot. Like it's it's almost like magic. <laughs> it's crazy, uh, especially the first time I used this. I was so red in the face before and then I had almost no redness after. It was such a nice product. So I knew that I had to buy this before my wedding and have it like uh, a few days before 
and just calm my skin and I did but I have a few uses more left at least one but I think I can finish this until the next update so it's not one of those products that will linger in my collection forever you know and then let's move on to the real point reducer which is a palette from gloss gods I love gloss gods I love their shimmer formula it's the best on the market so far from what I've seen. <laughs> um, they're really buttery, creamy. Oh, I really liked swatching this. Unfortunately, the palettes haven't really spoken to me. I have the, um, what's the name? The Vintage Glam Remixed, I think it's called. And that one was beautiful. But the other palettes haven't really spoken to me when it comes to the color stories, which is sad because I, I really, really like them. But then they came out with this one and I pre-ordered it. It's the First Gal on Jupiter palette. And I haven't used these on my eyes yet. I have only swatched it, but I love this. It's like, it's a little bit too dark for me, but you have three silvers. One is like a holographic silvery shade. And then you have like two, a little bit of a warmer silver and a cooler silver. And just for those three shades, I'm like, I want this palette. And then we have this gorgeous pinky shimmer. And then we have some, you know, other shades as well that I just feel like this is me. This is, this is going to be so much fun to play around with in autumn. And I love it. But this means that I am reducing 12 points. I only started with seven. <laughs> so I really hope that I have finished more than I brought in this month. But let's see. So 12 points reduced just there. And then I have bought three Batiste shampoos. Uh, two big ones and one small one. The small one I bought when I was in a camp and I forgot to bring one. So I had to buy one and they didn't have the big ones. Um, so yeah, that's why I bought that one. And then I bought two big ones because I love them and I was running out so I have some more now <laughs> and then I have some very expensive things that I bought for my wedding and that was to prep my hair and my sister did my hair on my wedding so yeah I was just trying to get a lot of moisture into my hair and uh, you know have good stuff for my hair it's as simple as that so I bought Four things from Ref Stockholm, a conditioner, a shampoo, a mask, and a leave-in serum. And uh, I've, I've used them. You don't have to use much of them, um, which is good because they're so expensive. And yeah, I have used them. I'm continuing to use them. And let's move on because they were expensive. I, I don't want to spend that much money on my hair. Um, yeah, let's move on. I got a few things for free. One was a wedding gift. My friend had actually made her own soaps and a few candles that she gave us and it was so cute. I don't have it here unfortunately. It's in my bathroom um, and it's a bar soap so I, I don't really want to bring it here, <laughs> you know. Um, but we got one hand soap and then a few candles but that doesn't count into this, um, this makeup rehab stuff thing uh, <laughs> that we have going on here. But then I got a few things from that store that I mentioned. Uh, it's called Normal which is kind of, you know, a cheap dollar store-esque store. I don't know how to explain it but sometimes they have giveaways, sometimes they have um, com competitions and sometimes you you get things because you are a loyal customer and you've been there like 10 or 20 times and yeah they have a few like bonuses if you will so let's see where we have it I have so many products in front of me so oh I actually bought something from normal as well and uh, that's this Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. I thought I would get this instead of cleansing wipes when I swatch my hands. Uh, it's, you know, good to have. And I don't think I have micellar water. I think I finished my last one. Anyway, I will use it. Um, and then I got this one for free. This is a lip gloss from W7. I also got something more. Yes, I got this lip balm, this Carmex lip balm. I have used one of these up before. I always try to moisturize my lips with a lip balm or a lip butter or something or lip oil, whatever, um, before I go in with a lipstick just to not dry my lips out too much. 
and I think that was it. I'm going just through the list here <laughs> to see. Okay, so that was 29 points reduced from my seven points. So I'm at a negative 22 points at the moment. However, I have also finished a lot of items. So let's go through them. I finished three bubble bars from Lush. Of course, I can't show you the packaging because they didn't have any packaging. Then I used up this from P. Louise. This is a bath of caviar, which is kind of the same thing as a salt, I think. And it's called the Hundreds and Thousands of Dreams. Sprinkle kindness wherever you go, bath caviar. So that one I finished before I, uh, before I moved. And then I have finished two dry shampoos. So like I said, I was, I was getting low on my dry shampoos. That's why I bought the other ones. I have also finished two other hair things, one shampoo and one hair treatment. This is actually snail treatment, like a snail, a snail sleeping hair and pulls. I was a little bit I don't know, worried before I used it because I was like, mm, is it going to be slimy and disgusting? It, it worked. So I'm not too, I'm not too mad about it. <laughs> then I have two fragrances, one room fragrance and one little sample that broke after I had used maybe half of it. But I think, or I think I actually used more than half of it and that's why I have it in my empties instead of declutters. So these two will work towards my point system. So two more points there. Then I have two makeup removal items and one is this cleansing butter from the body shop. And this is like makeup removal pads, really cheap. I am rebuying them for sure. It was like four or five dollars for this one and it contains 45, no, 65 pads. So you can use it for 65 days. I also finished a few makeup items. This is not too exciting, but I have two mascaras here. So I've used these for six months and then they just move out of my collection, which is nice because this black one, I can't even close anymore. I don't know why. Uh, this was from Hourglass. It's the Caution Extreme Lash Mascara in the shade Ultra Black or Caution Ultra Black. And then we have this Instant Volume Boost Mascara from Essence. This was more of a thick one. This was more of a thin, but it, you know, gave you more length, I guess. And then I finished a blush from Essence, which was not surprising at all. I finished it very quickly after my last update. And then I have also from Revolution, a brow gel that I finished. So those were all of my makeup items that I finished, except that I finished a shadow. Yes, I have it here, I think. I finished a shadow in my e.l.f. palette and it was this red one right here, which you can not see that it was red, of course, because I used it up. <laughs> That's the sad thing about like using up shades because you can't see afterwards which shade it was. That's a little bit of a shame, I think. I don't think I finished any other shade. No. Okay, so let's go through the skin products now that I've finished. This is the Vegan by Happy Skin Original Skin Essence Toner. So this is a toner and essence in one, which is really nice if you are going somewhere and you just wanna bring one product. I think that's really neat. I have finished two face masks. I think I liked both, um, but I wouldn't repurchase this one. Maybe I would repurchase this one if I found it somewhere cheap, you know? Um, but I think it's one of those more expensive um, face masks, so I don't think I would. Then we have an eye cream from Origins. We have a face mask from the body shop in the Nicaraguan coffee scent. I didn't care for that one too much. And then I have a serum and a face cream from LL that I finished finally. This one doesn't take too long to finish if you use it regularly, but a face cream like this, it takes such a long time. And don't get me wrong, it's a nice, uh, it's a nice cream and it should adapt to your own skin and your own pH value or D no, DNA. <laughs> It should adapt to your DNA. I don't know if it does. I don't feel like my skin changes too much depending on um, skincare, to be honest. Um, it depends on what I eat. If I eat a lot of chocolate, especially, I get a lot of breakouts. If I drink a lot of uh, like black fizzy drinks like Pepsi Max, which is my 
Achilles heel, let's say. I get very red if I drink a lot of it in my face. Uh, but thank goodness we have makeup, right? <laughs> But yeah, I feel like what I put into my body is affecting my skin more than what I put on my face, if you know what I mean. We only have one category left, which is the Bath & Body category. I have finished two soaps, or we have finished two soaps. Um, I've gotten married, so my husband is obviously helping me in using the same hand soaps. And I haven't really um decided i guess yet how to do with the things he brought with him so he's a little bit of a prepper like not a prepper prepper but he does like to be prepared he does like to have a few things in in stock you know and i like that but that means he had a lot of hand soaps and stuff when we got married and i don't know if i should bring them in to my inventory or if i just should try to use these things up and whatever we usually use together like hand soaps maybe that shouldn't be in my inventories let me know what you think or maybe i should only include things that are more than the standard thing we would buy like things i get in uh in advent calendars or beauty boxes or whatever or maybe with scents that would suit me rather than him like mm, i'm not 100 percent sure how to count things right now anyway i finished this one as well it's a big shower gel and i got a lot of help uh, on this one i think i finished half myself and then we got married and we went through it quite quickly then we have two face washes one from avant and one from elizabeth arden they're okay i don't love any of them and i especially don't love this packaging like I think it's neat in one way like I like that it's a different form it's a different kind of packaging but it's pretty thick and it's pretty hard to store so I don't like that too much I didn't find this in my inventory but I am counting it uh, it's it's a deodorant and I usually count those so I don't know why it wasn't in my inventory and then we have a uh, softening body butter from Sense with a nice scent. It's sad that they make so good scents uh, around Christmas and then they don't sell it all year round. That's a little bit of a shame. Then I actually found my lip butter that I had in another project. I think I had it in my Fifty Shades of Gold slash Yellow project pan and I hate it so much <laughs> and I was like I don't want it on my lips it leaves like an oily cast and it only has a few bits of scrub in it like it's it's such a bad product so I decided to use it on my feet which I kind of regret because that was also so messy and I was like slippery afterwards like it was mm, I hate this with all of my heart if I get one of these I will just give it away or actually toss it or something I don't know maybe I got a dud who knows but if I receive this again I will definitely not hold on to it and that says something because I love using things up <laughs> if they are a little bit annoying I can I can use it up anyway you know as long as it doesn't go bad um, but in this case I just hate it hate is a strong word but yeah then we have the Avant Gentle Rose Beautifying Face Exfoliant, which I also used up before I moved, which was nice. And that was all of the products, I think. So what does this mean? This means that I have finished 32 items. So I'm getting 32 points, which means we went from minus 22 to plus 10. So we ended the last update with seven points and now we're up to 10, even though I actually brought in a lot of things. And now the advent calendar season is upon us. So far, I have seen maybe five videos with spoilers and I'm not interested so far. But on the other hand, those were not the most exciting brands either. I didn't think I would like them too much. But I watched the Revolution one and I bought that last year and it's kind of the same things and I'm just not interested. I watched the Body Shop one and it was the exact same as last year, which I wasn't interested in then. Um, I watched a few more. I don't think I can get them in Sweden, but I wasn't 
interested at all. One calendar I am interested in is the P. Louise one, but I also know that it is very expensive. I don't get the spoilers before. And I have watched through the sortiment, the, you know, the things that she has already. And even though I get happy by watching it, I feel like I have everything that I want from her. So I don't think I will buy it. I think I will save my like $300 <laughs> or 400 when you get to all the taxes and shipping fees and stuff to Sweden. Um, I think I will keep that money and try to work with what I have because I have so much that I actually enjoy. My hope for this year is the Glow ID, um, which specializes in, in Korean skincare, will come out with a calendar which does not focus so much on exfoliating items. Last year, I was so interested in buying their advent calendar until I saw the spoilers and more than half of the products, I think, were, they were exfoliating products. I don't need that much exfoliation and I'm, I didn't buy it because of that. So I really, really hope that they come out with something that isn't so exfoliating and that I like because usually they have like a cleansing butter and an essence and those are the two things that I am getting low on and that I really like uh, and I think is like special to Korean skincare in, in some in some way especially the essence so yeah that's my hope that I will like the glow ID one and that I'm not too tempted by everything else like I, I'm okay with buying two but I think I would like to get down to only buying two. <laughs> and I say only, like, that's a lot of products, I know. But I have bought a lot more in the past, or like in the past three or four years, because I've been so into makeup and building my makeup stash, let's say. But I feel like I have so many good things that I, I really want to use. And I don't have the time to use everything if I buy too, too much. And also we have a point system to keep track of, right? So I need to finish more than I bring in. And right now I only have 10 points. That's not a lot. That will go in like one palette. If I only buy a one 10 pen palette, we're out of points. <laughs> so that's where we're at. I'm still in the positive and I'm very happy for that. I already know that I will finish a few things pretty soon but I have to also realize that my glorious panning days are over probably because I am uh, I'm not working nights anymore so I don't do my makeup twice a day I'm not in the same situation anymore and so I will be like a regular person but trying to do her makeup every day and so like I, I hope I will get good progress anyway but I have to be a little realistic and realize that I will not finish 30 things every single month <laughs> you know because I don't have minis anymore I've already you know finished those and I'm not working nights anymore so you know there are several things that um that have changed and that I have to adapt to and and I have to adapt my my expectations on myself as well when it comes to panning but that being said I am still into makeup I am still into panning and I am happy to be in the positives <laughs> so with that being said I really hope you enjoyed this video and that I'll see you in the next one have a great evening bye